Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I am not at home right now. Actually, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Inn at the Peach Trees Hotel, and my room is just a little bit odd. Let me show you. This is the window in my room, and as you can see, as normal, it has the shears here with the little stick, so you can open and close. But what's weird is the curtains don't close. Now, these aren't stuck. If you look, look up there. Look, the track, the track doesn't even move any farther. So, um, there's, there's no way to close the curtains. Does that seem weird to you? Uh, cause it seems kind of weird to me. I'd like to be able to close the curtains, but I don't have any tools. I don't really want to make a shopping trip to go out and get a clothespin or a clamp or something, and I don't want to damage the room in any way because that's just rude. You, know, don't, you don't go places and damage stuff. So let me show you what I did with what I have to work with. On this side, I took the coffee stirrer, which uh, they do have coffee stirrers. You know, I've got a little Keurig here and uh, it has these little packets that come with a napkin and some sweeteners and there's a coffee stirrer in there and there were two of them. So I took the coffee stirrer out of this packet and I very carefully shoved it into the seam here. Not enough to damage the curtain, just enough that I could hold it securely. And then I tucked the end of the stir into itself to make a loop. Now that, that should work well. And then on this side, they actually kind of lucked out. They had this cord bundled up with a twist tie. So on this side, I have the twist tie inserted through that seam. And notice, there's no damage to this curtain. I haven't created any new holes. I'm just taking advantage of the seam that's already there. I've got this loop here, and I've got my twist tie here. And so what I'm gonna do is put those together, just like that. I might need to edit this just a little bit. So I've put my little stir stick back together, but this time I shoved it much further down in. So it's going down in about to here. You might be able to see just a little bit of a place where there's where it's kind of shoving out. And then I'm going to put a severe bend right there. Ideally, by putting this bend in here, even though it's shoved in to about there, that should make it very hard for this thing to pull apart. Let's see if it works. All right, let's take two. Got my reinforced loop. Fingers crossed. Well, all this just to have a curtain that closes. All right. All right, so that is not so bad. Yeah. I mean, it's not super pretty, but I'm not going to be having guess. I just, just, I, I don't like the idea of sleeping in a room without being able to pull the curtains. Maybe I'm just weird. You can go ahead and comment and just say that I'm weird. So my co-worker showed me this, you know, after I told her about my video. See, th these are the shears that I told you about. Well, if you, if you go back, wait, back here, <laughs> look at that. Look, these are, these are darkening curtains that you can't see through. Yeah, they're right up against the window there. On the inside. Huh. I, I, I didn't know that those were there. I, I feel really dumb now. If you like this video or you like any of my other videos, please feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up button. Other than that, Showing you how not to be afraid to post a video online solving a problem that absolutely nobody has and kind of makes you look like an idiot. Be brave.